It's important to be a good steward of the land because there's more generations coming down the road and we want to make sure that everything is better than we had it. I feel it's important for me to have this farm progressing forward so that someone else is able to carry on what we are doing way past our lifetime span. The Cluthies in Dodge, Nebraska, like many other farmers who raise pigs today, are always looking for a better way to do it. That means making sure their farm smells as good as it looks, since one of their neighbors is Sacred Heart Olean, a historic church located just across the road from their Bacon Hill farm. Nebraska Public Power District and the Nebraska Department of Environmental Quality had a uh, presentation on anaerobic digesters. And from that, I learned that all the manure that goes through this digester comes out odorless. To make livestock neighbor friendly and to get rid of odor, that is big. The Bacon Hill anaerobic digester is 14 feet deep, 80 feet wide, and holds up to 440,000 gallons of hog manure. The digester process not only removes odor, but it also delivers another huge benefit, the production of methane gas, which literally powers the entire farm. The bacteria breaks the manure down and makes a methane gas. The methane gas is sucked through a pipe up to a 3306 Caterpillar engine running a generator 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The resulting electricity is sold to the Nebraska Public Power District. The Cluthy Farm eventually uses about 20% of the electricity it generates. The remaining 80% is enough to power about 53 homes each year. Since the methane from the hog manure is identical to the methane found in clean burning natural gas, Bacon Hill has adapted compressed natural gas technology to make their farm vehicles hog powered as well. The uh, methane is compressed at 3,600 pounds of pressure uh, through CNG tanks, compressed natural gas tanks, and we got the tanks on the back of the pickup and on our tractor, and I've got a quick coupler here that I can quick couple on, and we fill it up in like the Duramax Chevy diesel. We're running on 80% methane, 20% diesel, and on the tractor we're running on 90% methane, 10% diesel. After spending about 22 days in the digester producing methane, the now odorless manure is moved out to lagoons. To safeguard the water supply, Pluthy went above and beyond regulatory requirements and installed a polyethylene liner in the lagoon and dug three groundwater monitoring wells. Guided by careful analysis of the soil and manure nutrient content, the manure is injected into about 600 corn and soybean acres annually after harvest. The pigs that produce the manure are raised in six 1,000 head finishing barns that are naturally ventilated with drop curtains, pit fans, and ceiling vents to keep the animals comfortable. While the alternative energy generation makes Bacon Hill unique, the farm also follows the familiar path of being a multi-generational operation. The next generation, Brett Ortmeyer, is learning that no matter how high-tech production facilities and manure management processes get, observing animals firsthand will always be an important part of raising pigs. First thing I always look for in the mornings is how the pigs are acting, how they're laying, how they're breathing, what they're doing, what they're eating. You know, it tells you a lot about how they're feeling. On a daily basis, as any hog guy will tell you, if you have good health, it makes life a lot easier. I mean, if you spend the extra time, go through and make sure every pig's happy, you got clean feed and water, perfect environment, makes life easy. Bacon Hill's sustainable energy generating operation also makes them good stewards of the land. It's important to be good stewards because there's more generations coming down the road and we want to make sure that everything is better than we had it, as good at least, or better. And I think that being a good steward 
is just something that should come normal and we should practice every day.